I'm the guy who just is kind of knitting it all together. It's somebody else's story. I just want to say as little as I can to set up what they're going to say so what they say makes sense and adds to the to the overall story. Um, it's kind of like putting the ball up on the tee. You know, my job is just to hold, my job is to hold the tee and that so someone else can, the ball is being the sound bike. And I'm not sure that's a great analogy, but it's just, um, you know, I, I try to write as little as possible going in, as clear as possible, and all I'm doing is, is a setup. I just want to set up the, the, kind of setting up the joke or set up the, um, the punchline and let them run with it. I mean, I think the, the reporters tend to get fall in love with their own words, and the words that they need to fall in love with are those of the um, the subjects and the you know and the natural sound and the other things going on. I mean, that's what really drives the story. The reporter is by far the least important element in the story. Um, you know, you're you're just the conduit. You're just the funnel. You're not what's going through the funnel. And I mean, you know, you're, you can hold it in your hands, but it's what's in your hands which is important. It's not the hands, you know. And I, I think it's just people using too many words and trying to over-explain. And I think it's lazy. I think to write so many words is lazy because anybody, I mean, sure, I could write a minute and a half what amounts to a VO and do a pretty good job of it, frankly. I mean, that's going to be boring because it's just my voice. You're just hearing one voice. And I don't have, I may love a story but I don't have the vested interest in the story that the subjects do. And they should, you should have gotten out in the field enough sound with them that they should be able to more eloquently tell your story than you can.